in the studios of West Nile Television uh, with a lot of uh, interesting, uh, of course, uh, stories that you will need to know. Uh, yesterday, I just gave you a tip of how exactly Charles Livingston Babazi uh, parted ways with Viper Sports Club. I'll be adding you more of that. And at the same time, we also do have a lot of uh, talking points from uh, different angles. Of, uh, that is the uh, whistle time. Uh, with, of course, uh, still uh, uh, questions rising here and there about uh, the Papuachi game. Uh, probably one big thing. And then uh, we also do have uh, the uh, biggest game uh, that will be coming. Uh, Manchester City will be tussling it out with Real Madrid today at uh, Bernabeu in the UEFA Champions League, whereas uh, the team of Arsenal will also go to Bayern uh, to see that they really go for a uh, competitive uh, quarterfinals first leg. That will be right there. And for Manchester United, they'll be watching home. Uh, so for those who are fans of uh, these teams, uh, please, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm giving you how teams are going to be. But interestingly, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, to every other club that is there because it's quarterfinals. Susie joins me in the studio today and I want to say do one thing. Drop in your comment on the comment box on uh, that is our social handles. You will be part of uh, the show to enjoy uh, your course of this. But at the same time, Susie, welcome back from uh, the weekend. <laughs> Thank you so much much i thought you wanted to welcome back from pakwatch um uh, good Pakwachi afternoon <laughs> it was in the weekend as well but now it is on okay. that okay <laughs> uh, thank you so much and uh good afternoon we are already in the house at two to three as the minutes roll in uh, a lot a lot a lot is happening in koboko where the uh, post primary regional uh, games are ongoing uh, yesterday uh, there was an arua derby by the way where oshindi played uh, there is um, varaises the mm. game ended one one uh, but then vara petitioned uh, there is oshindi <laughs> uh, because of fielding an eligible player in the names of uh, mungo chi george alindu uh, who was fielded in there and then uh, the petitions committee found out that it was true Oshindi had, uh, had uh, filled in uh, an OB that had sat USCE last year. So Oshindi sadly has been thrown out of uh, the, uh, the regionals uh, in there. Moreover, uh, the stories uh, that will be coming through with uh, some of the results uh, that we, we saw Time Desk has uh, from uh, day one in uh, Koboko. Yeah, it was interesting. Koboko is getting hotter and hotter. I've loved what is there because... Uh, uh, the interest of uh, people wanting to, of course, achieve here and there. Uh, a lot of things that probably have also shown uh, uh, how teams are probably pushing in there. But uh, all in all, I want to say it's uh, still interesting because uh, if I look at my calendar here, you would see that uh, very many things are happening. Schools are playing at least two games per day, mm. if you can see, yeah. at least two, day, uh, two games per day. So that gives us uh, something uh, tangible that uh, maybe by the end of the week, games shall be done. And that is one thing that is there. Um, but, uh, yeah, you did see their first game, and then their second game was with the, the Oshindi you talked Oshindi, about, yes. which was a draw. And then the, the petition and the rest is one thing. Uh, one of these days, I need to travel to Koboko before the final day uh, to see what exactly is happening right there. But all in all, it is getting so close, close, close that the teams are going. Uh, we have uh, results of uh, both the girls and boys category. March day one yesterday, which was on 7th of uh, now that is uh, uh, April 2024. With the uh, football side, uh, we did see Komboni uh, both uh, losing to Origini, and that is their game one. And then uh, Yves beating Team Matters uh, College, two goals to nil. St. Francis over uh, CC uh, losing to Kochi, uh, of course, by two goals to nil. Then you did see Hawa Camp, uh, of course, uh, losing to Panyango by seven goals uh, to nil in there. New Manzi. A bit Nyarlo by one goal to nil. Nyarlo is, uh, I should say, another host, but they lost uh, their game at home there. Beza Al Haji, uh, of course, Hidge uh, 2 0 against that is uh, Otravu, uh, mm -hmm. and then, uh, of course, beating Otravu. Luanga did beat, of course, team Diwa, our parents, because Luanga is the home, uh, I mean, the hosting team. Uh, they are there by uh, mistake now, or by default. <laughs> by because default. They <laughs> no, really they are because they were ejected. Yeah, they are uh, the hosts. Paida lost to, that is Rhino Cup, by three goals to one. And then uh, Nile High uh, did beat Wadelai by two goals to nil. Obongi beat Maracha by one goal to nil. Arua, uh, that is Arua SS, beating Tima Aria by five goals to nil. Uh, K Seed 
lost to Daystar by three goals to one. Uh, Kufra, uh, of course, 0 0 with the, that is Numanzi. And then Diwa in that is match day two. Uh, of course, the game number two, uh, three, uh, two winners against Nebi Town. Maracha uh, lost this time uh, to that is uh, uh, Quinas uh, by two goals. Uh, of course, uh, to nail, if you look at uh, this Maracha, they have lost two of their starting games. Mm. St. Daniel Komboni losing to Mvara by five goals uh, to nail mm. right there. Mvara played with Ushindi 1-1 one, one, and where you are saying that the is a petition that has gone in there. That was for boys in there. I don't know whether you have that copy of the girls also. Um, uh, for the girls, uh, Wari and uh, Vura SS played, uh, there is only 2-2. Two, two. Yep. And then uh, Mamba SS and Katrini played 0-0. Zero, zero. And then St. Mary's Asunta beat, there is a coach, seven goals to zero. And then uh, Oliver Seed beat there is a lower SS one goal to zero in there. Our own St. Mary's beat Lodonga Seed three goals to zero. And then St. Luke of Fude uh, lost to Moyosta 11 goals to zero. <laughs> this is interesting. And then uh, Kuboko Public lost to Pakada Seed uh, one goal to zero. And then uh, Katrini uh, beat Kochi SS one goal to zero. Uh, St. Mary's Idiofe in their second game also beat there is a Nyarilo SS. Uh, two goals to zero and then a uh, lot of acid and rhino camp uh, played uh, there is a uh, lot of acid and rhino camp played a uh, zero zero and then koboko public lost to pakada seed um, uh, one goal to zero a uh, katrini beat there is a uh, coach ss one mm. goal to zero uh, and then um idiwa parents lost to alui seed uh, there is a uh, one goal to zero and then idiwa parents also lost um uh, yeah francis ayume beat there is a uh, pajirinya one one goal to zero. War girls and a keystone played zero zero. Uh, Laropi and Vara zero zero. Uh, Uringi SS and Odravu. Uringi lost to Odravu. There is a one goal to zero. Uh, Jumani Modo and Yoyo SS played zero zero. And then lastly, Logri girls lost to there is a Francis Ayume two goals to zero in the girls section. All right. Now that's exactly how it is. So interesting. Match day two continues with a lot of uh, a nice, uh, uh, of course, a lot of uh, games that you would be expecting. And of course, a couple of games that I did give you already yesterday, how exactly the schools will be because uh, the schools, if you look at the names that are here, they already set up for the games that are coming right through. So you're expecting a lot in there. Our correspondent, Mr. Swipe Kokole, will be updating us some more with uh, the games uh, as soon as uh, he is uh, on. But of course, in case we also fail to get him, we shall still continue. Let me give you for the girls category today how games are or which games probably are on card right there match day to remember today is also the opening ceremony of the day uh, all of these uh, zonal games that are going in there now of course koboko public uh, started the game with saint luke of Fude. i'm told the game started later and then you did see moyo star against that is pakada seed also that game uh, was played at nine uh, you did see lodonga on Yarilo. that game was on uh out Uringi and then uh, maracham a domestic uh, Lodonga, uh, Nyarilo, then there's Otravo, Mvara SS, uh, that game was, uh, I mean, uh, yes, Mvara SS, that game was at nine, and then St. Mary's Ediofe and Rhino Kampa. Those were the girls' uh, team that, of course, uh, started Indian, including Panyango, uh, Jumani, and then uh, you have Ebenezer, Bondo Ami, Otumbari, Logiri, Alio, Alcid, uh, Vura, and uh, of course, Adiwa, uh, Parents, uh, Kingston, and not forgetting, of course, Loha and Biaya that was uh, played early. This were the early kickoffs are uh, from, let's say, from 8 to 10. Uh, that, the games that were to start at that uh, very time on different venues. Now, at exactly uh, 3, 30, there will be a games after that is the, 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 the opening ceremony or which was supposed to start at two th at, uh, I mean 12.30 uh, up to now it should be going so we're yet to see what exactly that will be but of course Oliver Seed and Muni Girls will be uh, taking on at 3.30 and then you will see Kochi against uh, Mamba that game will be at 4pm uh, and then you have uh, Katrini taking on St. Mary's uh, Asunta at 3.30 Logri SS against Okolo uh, SS at Nyarlo Grounds at 4.40 and then you have uh, Maracha Domestica taking on, of course, uh, Odravu. As, uh, of course, uh, Bondo takes, uh, Bondo Ami takes on Panyango. That will be the girls' category. And tomorrow we have a couple of games in the girls' category that will be coming. So, Susie, we're expecting the uh, opening ceremony maybe uh, right now going on because we are not personally there, but that's what is happening at uh, that side. Also, boys' category, there are a couple of games uh, that uh, maybe should be uh, done uh, because we currently don't know what exactly is happening that way. Let me see uh, some of the games for today. 
uh, you do have uh, Tom, uh, St. Thomas Aquinas against Obongi, then Ari against Maracha, Usindi against, of course, uh, Daniel Komboni, Nebi against Rhino Camp, Odra Nile High, Nyangilia, of course, against uh, that is Beza Haji, and then Daystar against uh, Niva High, as uh, Matas College C, uh, against K, Seed, and then Kochi against Komboni, not forgetting Panyango against uh, Numanzi, as Francis Ayume against Ulepi, and uh, the team of uh, Nyarlo against. Okufra, those are the games from morning up to uh, that is uh, that those were supposed to be in the morning uh, up to that is uh, 11 uh, or to noon. Now, opening ceremony also goes, and then you will see St. Charles Luanga taking on Pai the SS. Rhino Camp will be taking on uh, Idiwa Parents. Uh, Laropi will be welcoming St. Francis Assisi. And then you will be seeing Matters College against uh, Niva High. Vara ISS will be welcoming Lodonga Seed at 3 30. And that game will be at Teremunga Playgrounds at uh, 1. For those who will be there, Teremunga 1. Uh, that's where it will be. Uh, St. Aloysius College in Yapia will be taking on St. Daniel uh, Komboni at uh, 4 50. One progressive takes on Ko Ko uh, I mean Kololo uh, Seed. And then at the same time, you will be having Hawa Camp against Nyarilo. Those are the games that will be there. Suzy, uh, if you look at all this, you will see that uh, things are really going faster and that the planning shows that these games will be ending at least earlier right there. So let's wait and see how they will be. But uh, that is how interestingly the games have been going on right there. And those are some of the games for today. Maybe you'll say about uh, any fixture you think is going to be so tight before we um, cross over. Uh, by the way, most of uh, the fixtures are, uh, to me, most of the fixtures are already tight because, one, uh, these are the best out of the best schools mm. that have come through to represent uh, the different regions or uh, the different uh, places that uh, they have come into. And uh, basically, everyone is going in there to see that uh, they, 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 they pull out their best. They raise the flags of their schools. So, so um, I think um, uh, uh, bringing out Ushid is going to bring in some little bit of uh, also uh, disorganization because the fixtures will have to be readjusted. True. Um, uh, there are schools that are supposed to play against Ushindi. Ushindi now that is not there. Uh, they will need to do a few adjustments and, and, and all that. Um, I'm quite sure uh, the, the, the stakeholders or the organizers wouldn't really allow that uh, the fixtures remain as they were in that uh, the schools that are supposed to play Ushindi is awarded a win in there. No. I think uh, they're going to sit back and readjust the the, 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 the fixtures here and then all that. That also has added in work. But uh, like you said, according to how the programs are running already, uh, it's quite uh, sure that uh, these, uh, these organizations were quite okay and everything is moving on so, so well. Uh, so I think uh, all the fixtures are tough. Not until after 90 minutes where we decide uh, who uh, the best was out of the team. Now still a lot of things to be discussed. Uh, just like uh, one hour ago you did see that, uh, of course, uh, announcement of... Um, uh, the, 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 the Oshindi feeling in the players. Uh, I think it's to me it's a very good thing that they have taken decisions instantly. Because I remember in a press conference we asked them what about when petitions are going to be there? They said they don't have they, would not, they are not expecting petitions because they are expecting teams to have their teams, uh, I mean their right uh, players. And this time round you're seeing already such scenarios happening. And I've loved that evidences and the rest have been gotten in a short while uh, just a day before and it is handled they sat down and in the disciplinary committee findings they say that of course the player indeed uh, completed use ace uh, earlier on mm -hmm. so uh, that means uh, last year with ombachi uh, and then of course mvara ss also was there and then <laughs> Ushindi, you are playing against the school that you've ever played against mm -hmm. i think that makes no sense uh to to to, to a player and that's why i that's why i've said always trust players little very less sometimes. <laughs> and this is a, a, a footballer uh, who plays for this school. Maybe he was also there, he played from Vara. Now you, you see what he has costed the school. But anyway, it's also good to limit the schools uh, because uh, you need to learn from what is there. Now, how sure are we that Oshindi did not use eligible players to be, champions. To be the champions? Without That's also another switch. question. <laughs> Very many schools are going to be against this. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> um, uh, but now that they've moved there, I think uh, they, they, they should just leave them. They should not uh, uh, go down uh, to revising how well, Of course, it can't be revised there, because yes. already they are there. Uh, the other one was district level, and, so this and, is now regional level. Sadly, they have been banned for two years uh, not to participate in uh, there is, uh, the post uh, primary uh, ball games for the next uh, two years. But honestly, uh, if I was uh, this player, you know that uh, you were once, uh, you were 
were on OB of Vara, and here you're going to play against the school you were in. Honestly, Oshindi needed to, to, whoever came up with this idea, needed to fill in this guy. They needed to revise their fixtures also well and see to it that since Ombachi did not go in there, uh, he's an OB of Ombachi and Vara, they really needed not to play this guy. Maybe against Vara, because Varas would definitely come out and identify him and say, no, mm -mm -mm. this guy was with us, and how come uh, from the year he was with us, by now he could have completed, completed secondary education. Yeah, true, true, exactly. true. So basically, Oshindi blundered, and they are out so shameful. A whole champion of Arua district. <laughs> yeah, it is a lesson. I, I want to also take this to the sports teachers of these different schools and the coaches. Let's not be desperate because we want mm -hmm. to win. Let's be realistic so that we have the best. So you're going to be desperate because you just want to do or you want to win uh, because you have done this and that. Why? And then Why? You're ashamed. And then you carry <laughs> you the will... shame for two years. Exactly. Two years <laughs> you're not going. To... You're killing career. Exactly. Very many players who have been in that school are going to go away to other schools to play because bursaries are given basing on sports. Exactly. Now, if the sports is not going to be there for two years, maybe in these two years I would have completed my bursary mm -hmm. or completed a level. What, what's up? You see all that. Parents would have saved... So I, 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 I believe it is really very bad, but let's always le leave uh, excitement. Let's leave uh, 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 false expectations and ambitions. Quick wins. Quick wins. You want to, <laughs> or, or you want, I don't know, uh, cheap popularity, I should say. <laughs> For politicians, that's what they call. But all in all, Oshindi, that is a very bad one. It tarnishes the names of a school like Oshindi. That is very big brand. Now you have costed this, and that is going to be a very bad one. Let's go to what exactly happened at, uh, that is, uh, the regional uh, league right there. Yesterday, we uh, tried uh, saying uh, one or two things, but today, Susie joins me in the analysis where we did see a lot of things. Up to now, the talks about we had a goal cancelled. We had a goal cancelled. Now, to me, I would call upon um, the, 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 the 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 FA to summon the technical team after the match. Uh, in fact, we're waiting for the match assessor's uh, right. report. If he can get the report and see that maybe the referees needed to be summoned or the officials so that they decide. Because an ordinary person may not see that in their technical eye, uh, with his tech, uh, bare eye. But the technicality of this game maybe is A, B, C, D. That could come in from uh, uh, the, 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 the game. So uh, I have seen people make noise. In, um, I, I'm in one of the platforms, but um, still things are going on. Uh, Pakwachi youngsters were saying this is our, uh, uh, it was a goal. Uh, this side you will see that uh, the team of, uh, of Paida was like, uh, no, it's not our fault. Uh, <laughs> we, 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 we had that. If you look at our video, if the producer can get it for us, uh, maybe in a uh, minute time, but if you look at that video, you would see there are three scenarios that are going to be considered. One is uh, the, g the ball before the kick. That is one. Two, the player who kicked the ball. Three is the delivery of the ball. Where did it find? This player who scored. Four, what was marked? What about the captain who was uh, your child, Raymond? What, where was he? And where was the person crossing? You look at that dimension, which of course gives you um, uh, the, the, the whole uh, view of the goal. And uh, probably it needs, take, uh, just like I said, technical eye to see that is it. But to you, how was the game anyway with the tear gas? <laughs> um, uh, the game was quite uh, very good. Um, uh, there was a huge turn up that we always expect, especially when you're crossing to uh, an Alur land. Mm, mm, um, uh, we started seeing that from Nebi Alur grounds. We saw that uh, when we went to Paida, there is a Barukuru. We saw uh, the same huge crowd. Mm. And uh, St. Mary's Omach, Pakwach, uh, is also where we witnessed another huge crowd. And uh, basically, I think um, that is a plus for uh, the greater Alur region uh, in that uh, they're always supportive when it comes to uh, their own and then uh, that was a plus yes and then also uh, coming to uh, there is a uh, the general play display to me it was very average by the way uh, the game became so physical in that uh, the players forgot I think uh, uh, the one mission that is uh, we play to win every other person went in there to be hitting or kicking around the, the, the opponents and all the game was so, so physical and uh, to me Emma um, uh, Pakwach uh, displayed I don't know 
what type of display that was. Uh, but then uh, they had all their senior players. But then uh, for uh, there is a by the Black Angels, they didn't have. Um, I didn't see around uh, three, four of the players. I didn't see Gardino. I didn't see uh, Jamal Suleiman. I didn't see uh, uh, around three, four players. Um, uh, the only player I saw there was. Uh, I think I saw Isco. Yes, and the rest of the players that uh, went in to represent there is by the uh, by the Black Angels tried uh, to start well, but then somewhere when they realized that Pakwachi uh, youngsters uh, players were becoming so physical, they also interswitched and uh, started counterattacking and being physical to the opponents. And then uh, at the end, uh, that's how we started seeing the tear gas coming through and all that and all that. Basically, I, I, I even don't know where exactly the problem was, only to, 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 to see tear gas and people running forth, back and forth and all that. So basically, it was a very good display. It ended 0-0, zero, zero, although it was supposed to, uh, to me, uh, don't go out there and start saying maybe Wesnel TV has taken the side of Pakwachi youngsters and all that. No, this is based on the video uh, evidence that we had. We watched and all that. So basically, um, uh, that was that. It ended 0-0, zero, zero, but I think that whole game needs to be revised. And uh, I was also hearing a few allegations on Pakwachi that uh, they need to be summoned because that's not the first time uh, hooliganism acts are being experienced. So, uh, so, 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 so uh, uh, let's look at this. How, because I looked at a video where uh, you would see, the f there was a first video era where uh, you, you would see that uh, the players went in. I mean, a sub fan were attacking, trying to enter the pitch. Uh, that was one. Then a, a, one that was also after there was disciplined outside by the different <laughs> fans. You can't know because where we were, you would see different fans, Pakwachi uh, uh, fans this, mixed with the Paida Black this, Angel fans. This other fan that was disciplined was a Paida Black Angels fan who, after seeing uh, a fan running in the pitch, trying to fight a player, had a bottle of water and decided to throw it in and it landed on the same player. So. He, Pakwachi Angster fans saw that and started hitting him. He thought he would run for refuge to this other side where uh, by the Black Angels fans where he landed from frying pan <laughs> to fire. So now there's that and uh, there's uh, also where you saw um, uh, probably uh, where, where even the chaos of the tear gas started. Uh, I looked at the video. It was far uh, extreme part of uh, the, 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 the the pitch. Uh, back, uh, let's say, uh, around after passing, uh, just a slight. In fact, the chaos started around behind a goal post, going towards uh, the. Uh, as should I say, that's eastern or not, uh, western? I don't know, but that side over uh, the pitch. And then um, this is where the fans. You can't know what exactly happened because I did see also intervention of security officials immediately. What I could see is the sticks of the official, uh, the, 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 or the, security. the security. Not also individuals, but security personnel who were trying to calm the situation. Not until the tear gas saga came in. Then another thing. I think if there's something not big, okay, just because of security, you don't know the techniques of security, but I think it was so soon for the tear gas to, to start. Up, yeah. Because uh, the tear gas started that's when the, 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 these other issues uh, continued. Uh, otherwise, uh, you wouldn't see. But the game ended, by the way, without uh, the final whistle. Mm -hmm. uh, we're <laughs> still waiting for that report. I want to first hear that report how it is. But I believe uh, everything that was in the position, uh, the scene and the rest, were taken well, which uh, uh, to me, I think, is uh, one key thing that is there. Uh, but I love the, thing that, the way that, again, we have not had any other... Uh, bad incidents that has happened, apart from the game just ending in that manner. Uh, two minutes uh, less. <laughs> two minutes le but of course, the extra was also passed already. Uh, so we just needed what exactly would be coming. But all in all, <laughs> I loved the game. It was a nice <laughs> game, high intensity. I want to, this is for me, to, uh, to, 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 uh, to, of course, the, 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 the league organizers, competition, and the rest. We, I think there are certain tons of games we should assign people who are so confident, so mature in the game management with the experience. Uh, the, 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 the assistant referee uh, that was talked about is uh, a man who was well known in that vicinity. Uh, Bashir, uh, I think it's called Bashir. Mm. Uh, and now allegations are getting back to him because of one or two things. Maybe because he, the goal was cancelled. And I believe 
I don't know. Uh, the Kujo Habibs, uh, the, 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 I don't know. I think they are the guys who assigned these referees. I believe here you needed to have those commanders uh, who are so strict, who have been experienced in this game for quite a long time. Even I wouldn't get surprised if Kujo is in that game to officiate the game because he has the badge. Uh, uh, I mean, he, he has been in that. He knows the tension of the game. I'm just giving an example. The, yeah, there were two very many abnormalities, by the way, against the referee during that time. And uh, we, we, I, I personally expected in a lot of cards, but then uh, these cards would also, again, now uh, rise into something else. But then uh, there were very few cards you would even see uh, where uh, a, a, a referee is being assaulted openly. Yes, and he does that's nothing. what I'm saying. You're being pushed around and you don't do anything thing and then another abnormality was also I think on the side of the referee he just was not emotionally prepared to to, to of course officiate such a high tempo game uh, because one you would see in that after there is a foul you have not whistled uh, you take some time you to take some and time and then when a, a section of fans start shouting yeah, 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 that's when you blow the whistle and, and exactly. go it, back it, to it, what it, had it, passed. it affected that game a little bit by the way uh, that's what I can say uh, for that uh, person who did not uh, view it or wherever so you are basically those but, that uh, are next time bring in you referees, expect such yeah. games please derbies that's why even in England, when it's a game of high intensity, you will see the type of people who are coming to officiate the game. And they such, weigh them. Such, such I know games, these assessments the way, are done by games, the referees. Such games, you can really know that this is a high tempo game. This is going to be very tense and all that. In that, you should be literally able to also assess the referee that you can take in there so that the game goes on well. Do me one thing. Drop your uh, predictions. or oh, That is our, uh, our social handles. Uh, draw the, uh, drop them there. Uh, what's, uh, I mean, uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, uh, Twitter. Uh, you can be there. Okay, I can, I can say X. That's where we are right now. Twitter. You can also drop it there and enjoy yourself because it is your prediction that we shall be reading through here. And for those who are following already, after our break, we shall be coming back to give you more of the in-depth analysis of different things. But of course, uh, region, I'm requesting, let's always weigh. And uh, for the referees committee, let's always assess referees basing on what they are doing, how good they are. Be because some of the referees may have not yet reached to where exactly you expect them to. And game management is very key. Game management of big games is very, very key. Now, that's one thing that we should really task to. We were supposed to be this Sunday to um, Moyo. Yeah. We were supposed to be this Sunday in Moyo. But I can confirm to you, we are not going to Moyo this Sunday. We shall be at uh, Koboko for the finals of the USA uh, uh, Zono qualifiers, the games in there. So for those who will be following, probably uh, that's the game that will be live on uh, your screen uh, right there on your TV. So you should be sitting uh, to watch. I keep saying the only hybrid uh, TV in West Nile region that you can always get all what is happening in West Nile region. So wherever you are, you will always be getting us. And that's why we also have these channels for you. I'm talking about the Facebook, the Twitter, uh, the, 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 the other uh, YouTube. So that if you're not also in the country, you can still get us wherever you are to be part of uh, your home because we light up the region. And that's what we are saying. We take a break. When we come back, we'll be coming back with the interesting because Charles Livingston Bawazi has also been fired at that is the team of uh, uh, right, Viper first. Sports Club. And at the same time, a replacement has been gotten uh, to that is Viper Sports Club. What next for Charles Livingston Mbabazi is the question. What is your feel for Charles Livingston Mbabazi? Drop on the Facebook, drop on the YouTube. We shall also be getting those uh, comments uh, and be part of it. Subscribe, share to those whom you think need to follow this and need to be part of this. Let's grow together. Let's grow the television right there. And uh, we really trust in you. Let's take a break. We'll be right back and add more for you with international stories. Predict Arsenal. We already have predictions Predict in Madrid. On, on the Facebook eh. page. <laughs> we take a break. <laughs>
West Nile TV, lighting up the region. West Nile TV, lighting up the region. Welcome back from that break. I still with the time live uh, on West Nile Television, and this is uh, one of the biggest things uh, that we're talking about. Uh, all the way from wherever you are, it is still West Nile Television that we're giving you. Susie, Charles Livingston Babazi and uh, Viper Sports Club have parted ways officially. Officially, <laughs> and Vipers did confirm this on their official Facebook handle and uh, or let's say their social handles, social handles yes. saying that this is done between us and uh, they are looking forward to see that uh, new uh, setup has been brought on board and uh, they are believing that the team will be taking upon uh, that is uh, of course the team will be going well in the next future and uh, of course Mbawazi Richard Waswa will now take in charge then he start his task today because there's a game with sports club Villa today in the Uganda Premier League. So let's start there. What is the problem with Charles Livingstone Mbabazi? Gentlemen, <laughs> like he has always been. Um, I think at this time around he just didn't play his cards well. Um, uh, because of the first time that I had issues where it was even rumored, I think we even discussed mm, it here, mm. uh, that uh, he was... He was uh, he the was last one was when yes. he went to, uh, for Barrio. He went for Barrio. But bef I want to look at before that. He mm. already had issues with management where he claimed that uh, he, he, had, he had gone for... He was off because of uh, health issues mm. and that he had presented in um, uh, the documentations and all that. Uh, but then um, uh, that was, I think, he, he explained himself and apologized and he was brought back but initially that was supposed to be his end and then after being brought back I think he really really needed to be a very alert he needed to play his game smart even after requesting for permission that's why the other day when this rumor started coming up I was like um, there is a certain time period that normally the bosses are okay with especially when you're off or uh, when you go in for uh, like the reasons that Charles Lewis and Babazi put across so if the time exceeds trust me question marks will start arising and this is exactly what has caused 
ousted uh, Charles Livingston Bavazi. Following uh, his exit, it, it had already a couple of things uh, uh, that followed events where, of course, um, Bavazi was absent for critical, of course, uh, match, yes. you remember, including the 4 0 uh, UPL win over that is Wachiso Jans that they made in there. Uh, despite that, he also had issues, of course, uh, he was given a chance to continue. Uh, and he acknowledged his mistakes in the disciplinary panel that they were, were, when they sat uh, uh, meeting, where of course he also committed the impro uh, to improve his contact right there. Nobody expected this would be coming. Then uh, recently, uh, in, an, in an agreement uh, uh, documented as um, Bowers' final warning, both parties had hoped that now nothing of this kind would come and he maybe would have uh, the adherence. Uh, to the club policy is now one key thing that he would be better. But however, after that game, um, returning to the clubs, one loss to KCCA, that was one big thing that uh, saw him right there. And then Babas was again uh, absent during the game of um, URA and UPDF recently. But Babazi initiated a contact with, uh, that is, uh, the club CEO uh, last Sunday, saying, uh, Saturday, I mean, intending to arrange for an official handover of uh, the club equipments and the uh, club attires that probably he could be giving back. But unexpectedly, he also appeared on Sunday in the game that was there. So this is what is there. Mbabazi did not really participate in the training session when even he came. He looked at the team and the rest. I think Mbaba ne needs prayers. <laughs> that is one. Prayers and Me, fasting. Uh, Mbabazi needs prayers. If not, Mbabazi needs help. That's for me what I would say now. Mbabazi needs help. Not because he doesn't know. He knows he's a good coach. A very good but I think there's coach. something that is disturbing Charles Livingston Mbabazi. Or he needs a break. Or oh, I w if I would be him, I would take a break. But again, rumors have linked him to Gaddafi. <laughs> so are we going to see this happen? What about Gaddafi? Shall he also stay there? Why? I'm still failing to understand the chemistry between Charles Livingston Babazi and Arua Hill. How he has managed to stay in Arua Hill for quite a longer time because before he, he left. Because he was a shareholder. Shareholder okay. things came later on. After the, 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 the engineer had said, no, let me first rest football. That was later on. I'm still failing to understand. Maybe because everything was given into his hand. He had his freedom. He had he the freedom. monitored closely. Maybe. And uh, maybe the people who are behind him are not so much who Racing. are in the business of football. Who are not result-oriented. Like, like, no, like because vipers if is. your bosses are those people who really want the result, they will be like vipers. They are doing business. They are getting for you every other quality player that you need. But this is... Uh, and you shall perform by their policy. If not, then you're not. If you're supposed to report... For camp, at this time, you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Baba he had everything that was given to him. At his disposal. Wow. So that's why I'm saying maybe the, he needs prayers. Uh, he, he needs, needs prayers, guidance. He needs a break. He needs counseling, yeah. maybe. That's when maybe we shall see the best. But anyway, uh, Vipers has already gotten people in there, uh, which will be headed by, that is uh, Richard Waswa. Uh, and then uh, that is the head coach role. Then they, 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 they alongside Jose Esdran Costa Lopez is still in the team, the, the, the Brazilian. And then Fred Muhumuza, formerly of Sports Club Villa. Richard Kasule, uh, Bakabuli Inde, and Ali Chimera will be the goalkeeping coach as an assistant right there. Uh, Ali Chimera. So now, this is one step ahead that we are looking at, but I believe. Charles Livingstone Babas, will he last in case the rumors are true? Will he last at Gaddafi? Don't tell me it's any man again. Um, uh, he <laughs> um, uh, I don't know if uh, I would say he his uh, being uh, of okay lasting at other is a Gaddafi could uh, probably also come through uh, from uh, if uh, Gaddafi has uh, elasticity in uh, its management, just like uh, Rahil did, we could possibly see him lasting in there. Mm -hmm. But then if Gaddafi is also going to be uh, a, a, a top management like uh, Vipers, trust me, we're not going to see him even finish the season there. One season, three teams, very surprising and weird. Okay, tomorrow is ED day. I've just Hi. gotten a notification. There's going to be food for me. Thank you so much. I'm not mentioning your name because it's <laughs> confidential. But in a yumbe. 
Uh, there's going to be the grand final of the ED Cup tomorrow. Uh, Ru, I know, so will be having ED Cup finals. But uh, we shall be having uh, what is called uh, the Generals that will take on the Black Bands uh, in there. That means uh, final of the Yumbe ED Cup is for the Generals and the Black Band FC. Okay. So we get ready. Very ready. Okay. Yep. It's going to be so interesting uh, for that is Yumbe. At the same time, Chetume, ever since reports have it, local papers have said, ever since the start of 2023, 2024, they have not gotten any penny, not even a 50 shillings from the club. Where is Chetume heading to? <laughs> ah, whether they have won, whether they have lost, whether they have drawn. They're just there. Yes. By Mungu's idea. Um, that is quite very bad, by the way. And um, uh, the, 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 the management or the owners of Chetume should be very thankful uh, simply because um, uh, this has never uh, blown up. It is coming, I think, in the second round, even almost when uh, the season is closing up. If this was um, like in other places, trust me, <laughs> they would have blown this up even in the first month over the reserve of the season. So basically, I think um, uh, they are really working with the right people. So yeah, these I want people to say, are because, doing their part. Because if you look at the players, they have never hesitated to play. They will they, travel. They are always they there, yes. They are always that there means there's constraint of money with the management, but which they are managing to facilitate these players to go for away games. So now, if they can own away games, please, I want also us to sympathize with club owners. Trust me. Now, this Chetume was, that's why they're called the slaughters. They were initiated by the butchers okay. who are in Mukono at Chetume. And they f the team is called Chetume uh, after this. I think they just have to present. So I would also request for motivation purposes. Can this association do just a little, even if clear these people for only two months, collect monies and clear these players for two months? It will help them. This is, they're playing for their family. That's my request, but I know things are hard. Uh, today Vipers plays Sports Club Villa. What are you expecting? Yeah, I'm a very huge one. Villa uh, recently played the one all draw, even after taking the lead uh, down at the home of uh, there is our Giants. And I think uh, this time it's going to be a very huge one. Uh, Vipers has issues with the coach, but then uh, that has never affected them. Mm. Uh, they've always played. Even if their players are off, you don't see them being affected, just like uh, internationally they live up and over. So uh, basically, this is going to be a very tough one. Vipers Villa, um, uh, uh, you can even see that on uh, their positions on the uh, uh, UPL uh, uh, table standings in there. I am seeing a draw here. A <laughs> draw. Uh, the two teams, of course, will be tussling it up today, and that's a tough game, by the way, to talk yeah, about, yeah. Uh, because Villa is on form, and Vipers, yes. remember, yeah. is also one team, and uh, Villa is going to be at home at Wankulukukulu, uh, Wankulukuku, so the fans are theirs, and uh, Vipers, yes, their fans are there, but you will see that Villa at Wankulukuku has always been a very dominant side, so expect a tough game, don't fail to... I don't, 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 don't see maybe a uh, draw and you say, yeah, don't even see if Villa wins this game. Don't get surprised because they're a very good side. They're at number two fighting for the top slot. Mm -hmm. And that means very much for them as sports club Villa. And uh, winning against Vipers will add them, uh, of course, confidence that uh, because Vipers has like two games at hand. So it will have bridged that gap with them uh, so, so much to see that they place in there. So I believe it's going to be a tense game, a tough game. But again, you would be seeing that uh, the team of uh, uh, Vipers will also want to do everything uh, very, very possible uh, to take on uh, this very team. And now, let's get to, uh, of course, the team of Bayern Munich. Uh, that will be tussling it out against uh, uh, the team of Arsenal in uh, what is called, uh, uh, what is called uh, the Clash of the Titans, I should say. Because both teams are good, though uh, Bayern has not been doing very good in the previous day. Uh, but there's one thing that will come in there called, uh, called history uh, that probably will be in this game. Before I get too much of the analysis, Susie, what are you anticipating in this game? Um, uh, Bayern and Arsenal, this is going to be a very tough one. Yeah? Um, Arsenal has uh, all uh, most of the players that it takes uh, for uh, Mikel Ateta to uh, make up, of course, uh, his other people that uh, he wants to represent in the squad. Uh, but then uh, playing uh, Bayern, of course, <laughs> 
it's it's always very hard for teams to go against Bayern, especially those that don't play with them the same league in that uh, they get to meet just once in a while and all that. Uh, but then if you look at uh, uh, our social media handle, you literally get to see that almost everyone there uh, should be an Arsenal fan, I should say, because they're all going in for us and Arsenal is winning this game, Arsenal this, Arsenal that. Drop Arsenal. your comments. We shall read. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> there is uh, Eric Sabiti who says Arsenal is winning this match. Eric Sabiti, it's fine. Possible lineup, I'll throw to Owen. And then Awanguich Rosiski uh, Torreira says uh, Arsenal 4. <laughs> Bayern 0. <laughs> and then Madrid Man City 2 to Then there is uh, Choni Milton who says Arsenal 3 and Bayern Munich 1. Eh, Choni, uh, Torreira and Eric Sabiti should all be Arsenal fans, no doubt. This will be the fifth time that Arsenal will be meeting a team by Minich. Out of the fifth, uh, the fifth time Arsenal have lost their past three games <laughs> against Bayern Minich with a goal margin of 5 1. And uh, which, of course, is, uh, the, 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 which is uh, their biggest margin of a defeat in European uh, nights, probably, or competitions. And uh, the most recent meeting that they had was in 2017, where, of course, uh, also the Gunners' heaviest loss came in uh, in this uh, competition. And this was at Emirates Stadium right there now. This is going to be one of the biggest Arsenal and Bayern have met in, that is, the knockout stages, uh, with, of course, the German side uh, progressing each time. With 2004, 2005, you did see them go through. 2012, 2013, they did go through. 2013, 14, they went through also through Arsenal. Then 16, 17, that is it. All in the last 16, which they have, Arsenal has never beaten them now. They again, not in the what? It's the first <laughs> leg of the quarterfinals, not now round, round of 16. So let's wait and see what exactly that will be. But this uh, will be Arsenal's first game in the quarterfinals over the Champions League since 2009-2010 season. They have never been in that. And uh, when, of course, they lost 6-3 on aggregates to Barcelona, uh, so far the Gunners have only progressed at from, that is, two of their seven quarter finals a tie in that is the European Cup and the Champions League right there. Uh, if you look at this, an individual brilliance is Bukayo Saka because he has been uh, in, uh, directly involved uh, in the seven goals uh, in seven appearances in the Champions League this season for Team Arsenal. That means it shows uh, resiliency, it shows uh, activity and the last player uh, to register more goals uh, right now uh, in this uh, Arsenal team by then involved or involved in uh, registering more goals has been the man by the names of Alexis Sanchez who has also done a lot. So this is it. But by minutes is Harry Kane. Is also a man to talk about, has 14 uh, goals in uh, 19 appearances against Arsenal, only netting more against the Leist City, if we talk right now, uh, 20 and uh, Everton 16. So Ken also is the joint uh, most goal uh, by that is visiting the Emirates. He has scored more goals, around five of them are along side Diego Jota, uh, the one of Liverpool and Jamie Vardy, of, uh, that is uh, by then uh, uh, Leicester City, yes. So that is how exactly the game is. So give us your prediction, uh, what you think about the game, and we will be uh, getting there uh, to you uh, right there. Man City again versus Real Madrid. What is your say? Um, Man City, Real Madrid, it's a very tough one. Uh, but then uh, the, uh, Real Madrid, uh, basically, I would say, uh, we've seen their form uh, literally dropping slowly by slowly. But if you look at Manchester City, they're doing quite so, so well. And uh, in the previous games at Manchester City and Real Madrid, uh, you've literally seen uh, exactly how uh, they have been uh, uh, clashing in here and there and all that. So um, uh, I think that Manchester City, if uh, they line up very well, could, by the way, go past uh, there is a Real Madrid. Real Madrid and Man City are facing uh, each other in that is the Champions League knockout stage right now for the third consecutive times uh, all season after meeting uh, uh, in that is the semi-finals 2021-22-2022-2023 season. They also met and there were 17 goals scored across this. That means they are all good scoring teams uh, in their previous four meetings that they have got in there because it has been home and away. Real Madrid, uh, seven for Real Madrid, 10 for that is uh, the team of Man City. That means City has scored more goals than Madrid. But Real have only won one of their past six uh, Champions League, uh, of course, matches against Man City. While they are also looking forward, they have conceded an average of 1.7 goals uh, in right there. So, 
we are expecting that. But uh, a very big thing that we shall be looking into. Let me see uh, the comments, then we can give you an uh, answer, your comment, uh, co uh, of course, your concerns. Thank you so much for watching and for the updates. Elias Bandulu, Echoni, yes, you said 3-1. And then uh, Madrid 2-2, that is uh, Wanguchi. Rosinski, okay, Torreira, uh, Arsenal 4, Bayern, okay, <laughs> Eric Sabit, uh, Arsenal is winning and possible uh, lineups of the team. Now, this is what we can do. Uh, Arsenal, uh, names that probably may not be into the game today, uh, very, very few, I should say, uh, because they have been on, 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 on the best side uh, to see that their injury list has dropped a little. And out of that, you would see that uh, names like uh, only Urien Timber will be out. Now, I don't think Ateta will want to tinker his team so much with Raya starting at the goals uh, today. And, uh, of course, White, uh, the other side you have, uh, I, 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 I would see because, uh, okay, that is me. I would love to see the man instead, Tom Yasu, start the game because of uh, his confidence on the ball. And Saliba partnering still with Gabriel uh, Magle is uh, right there. And 4-3-3 uh, three, three is what he should use. Odegaard, the other side. Kai Havertz, and then, of course, Declan Rice sitting in that midfield right there. And I want to see the personness of Saka, Martinelli, and Gabriel Jesus start the game. That is how possible I would want to see. Uh, but for, 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 for the team of uh, Thomas Tuchel, uh, Sar is injured, uh, Boy is injured, Bouchman is injured. That means they will not be able to play in today's game. A 4-2-3-1, as usual, for Thomas Tuchel, with, of course, Noya, who is back into the team, could be starting because he's their first choice, German's number one, who will be starting. Kimmich, the other side, I will uh, see also Guerrero. Dyer sitting with uh, Dilect, uh, whom Manchester United have chased after for quite a long time, but he hasn't come. And then uh, Leymar and Godza Mario will be sitting in a two uh, holding midfielder to me. And then you have uh, Lorey Sane on the other side. On the other side, you could put Koeman because it's so pesy. In there between, you have Musiela, who is a very good aggressive player and a, a creative uh, playmaker. Then you have the man, uh, Harry Kane, who leads the lines. Problem already there. That means the two sides will have attacking forces who are very good. And, of course, the ball will be won by, that is, uh, their defenders in there. Arsenal has a solid defense to, uh, compared to, uh, that is, the team of Bayern. Uh, right now and that is what will be their power and the strength midfield yes Declan Rice is back he can always contain and make sure that things work there his way but of course you will see creativity of uh, have uh, one key creative player has always been demanded by the names of Martin Odegaard so if he's going to be silenced then Musaila needs also to be silenced to make sure that the creativity level is low. Your parting words. Um, uh, Arsenal really needs to uh, be a lot uh, because um, uh, there were a lot of names that actually missed uh, in uh, Bayern's game against uh, Hendehem where they won 2-3, but every other person has of course uh, come back with only two names uh, missing. Uh, there is uh, Sacha Boye and uh, Buna Sar missing. So uh, basically it is uh, going to be a very tough one uh, for there is a team. Arsenal, every other injury list uh, that Razin there has come back. Okay, now let's look at also your comments before I sign out from YouTube and uh, see what you are telling us about uh, uh, probably from the YouTube because they are those ones who have also given us their comments uh, basing on uh, what they think about uh, the games. Uh, there's uh, Bugan TV. It says uh, we are those uh, we are those girls in the field of where? <laughs> How can Moyo start this uh, distribute goals uh, uh, to every player in that is the field? Oh, that means they have scored 11 Moyo girls. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much, Bugan, <laughs> for following. Uh, and then. Uh, Cheke, Cheke Chan Simon says, I don't think anything was wrong with uh, the ref. Uh, the, 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 the ref was uh, t trained uh, for his profession. Yes, he was trained, but that was a challenge. Handling game management was very key uh, to me. Okay, maybe to you it was okay, but for me, I didn't see that because uh, there was uh, a list of uh, laxity in that. And then there's uh, Bestiv uh, Chikena. Why is the table for West Nile Regional League not being released up to now from the week? I'm also not sure. That one needs the competitions to give us uh, an update. Uh, PYS, okay, that's Pakwati Youngster, was uh, so confident to win uh, the game. But I think uh, in football, nothing can anything happen. Let's can not happen. blame uh, any officials on uh, that is the game played uh, 
uh, played by the Black Angel is a big club. It's not about being a big club. <laughs> now, that one shows us where you are lying. Of course, uh, which fan you are. Uh, yes. Stop praising uh, the current PBA uh, club, my dear. Uh, you people have uh, cheated uh, PYS seriously, right from uh, Barocco. I think that's now an uh, exchange of words uh, right there. But okay, um, uh, <laughs> thank you so much, guys, for watching and for following. <laughs> you can always do the same from six. Uh, I mean, from two p.m. Uh, to three, we shall always be giving you that uh, updates every day, and we are still going to be following up. Well, I will follow on why the table standing is not out also, so that we see what comes in there. Uh, it's been a very nice time having you right there. Liverpool rep have reportedly agreed in a principle to hire Amorin as their new head coach right there. More details will be coming now subsequently. We saw time tomorrow, 2 to 3 p.m.